college basketball Matt in the building what's good I hope you're having a blessed day also double upload Matt in the building and anytime we double upload you gotta leave a like but anyways getting on and moving on with today's video we got an interesting topic to talk about and that player and topic is Matt McClung so if you love basketball content do all that stuff and without further ado let's dive straight into it I'm not going to spend too much time talking about Matt McClung's past because quite frankly, we all know his story. He went to Georgetown, had pretty good seasons there, and in high school, he was a star. And at the time, and maybe of all time, he was one of the most clouded high school point guards in the country. When he recently decided to transfer to Texas Tech, the narrative was the same as when he went into college. People thought he wasn't big enough to go to the NBA and he's not a big time player. Everyone said that athletic ability that carried him in high school wasn't gonna translate over to the next level. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't one of those doubters, but I did think they were somewhat right. If you ever saw him play or even watched the film in high school, there wasn't many highlights of him shooting threes because he wasn't a knockdown three-point shooter. He didn't make five to six every game. The reason he didn't make many too was because he didn't attempt to shoot many because he didn't have to. He could get to the basket when he wanted to. Going into his freshman year at Georgetown, he pretty much shut up all those haters and critics. He averaged 13 points per game as a freshman, shot right at 28% behind the three-point line and 40% from the field. As a sophomore, he got even better. He averaged 15.7 points per game jumped his three-point percentage up to 33% and his field goal percentage stayed the same. And you know where we're about to go with this. Things didn't work out there necessarily the way he liked them to, so he transferred. With McClone deciding to go to Texas Tech, those haters and critics came back out. I just vaguely remember going into the season and even a couple games in, everyone was saying he wasn't going to produce and it's going to take him a while to learn the system. Maybe some of that wasn't hate and it's relatively true. Because when you do transfer from big Big time programs to other ones it does take a while to get comfortable but for McClung you can make a legit case right now and say he's arguably the best player on this team I'm gonna read you off his stats so far and then we'll break down what's going on this season so far he's averaging 15.8 points per game 2.9 rebounds 2.6 assists and shooting 43% from the field one thing to note is that every single year in college so far he's improved that field goal percentage so he is getting better not only that but his three-point percentage for the year is right at 33 is shooting 33% great? No, but it's good enough for Mac because he's not known for his three-point shooting. If he can shoot good enough to keep the defense honest, he's going to be okay. Basically, what I'm trying to say is he just wants to keep the defense honest. Him shooting the ball, even if he misses it, is going to help open up his entire game. If you watched college basketball, or I'm sure you saw it on ESPN, if you don't live under a rock, you will also know that Mac McClung hit the game winner against Texas. They won the game 79-7. 77 and he finished with a very impressive stat line of 22 points shot 66 percent behind the three-point line and had five rebounds he only had one turnover in this game too so he's a great floor general that's also a part of his game that not enough people talk about is he gonna rack up 10 assists every game no but he's gonna make the right pass look the bottom line is it's straight up he's not known for his passing ability he's a scorer he's not really your ideal and typical point guard he's looking to score first then pass Normally, it's vice versa, pass and score, and another difference is, yes, we've seen athletic point guards, but Mac, he's a different breed. He's athletic, we all know this, but what makes him so different is that he's explosive. His first step off the ball is quick and super explosive for his position. With all that being said, ever since he started playing out great and just continues to get better over the span of the season, everyone shut up about him. There's a main reason as to why those people are not talking bad about him anymore because there's nothing you can can really critique about his game at this moment. You may not like him, but there's one thing for sure, you gotta respect his grind and hustle because he plays at 100% and that's how you're supposed to play the game. Like I said, his three point shooting and catch and shoot on threes have been solid, but his shot making ability is super insane. He takes a lot of difficult shots that most college players don't even look to attempt and the shots he takes, it reminds me of NBA players. If you see a player taking shots like Mac has been taking, the only thing you need to know is that they're very confident and they must make those all the time in practice. Has Mac and is Mac the best player in college? No, absolutely not, and he probably never will be. He's only roughly 6'2 and 185 pounds. He doesn't have the body build to take over games.
games constantly. But however, one thing I love about him is that he plays without hurt and passion, and it's almost impossible not to like him. He's gonna give it his all. If he's not having a great offensive night, he's gonna play 110% on defense. If you're a young Hooper out there and looking for a player to model your game after, this is the guy, so go watch some of his highlights. Even though he is 6'2", like I said, he plays like he's 6'5". He plays strong. It's just a matter of time before he creeps up into that NBA draft board because if he continues to play the way he has so far, I think he can get drafted this year. Whether he gets drafted or not, up to this point, it's been a sight to see, so everyone needs to quit sleeping on this guy and give him his respect. But hey man, with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family, hit that subscribe button, leave a like for more, and as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all, peace.